How's that old inventor guy there, that Doug? Well, there's a very handsome uh, gentleman here in the room <laughs> who might want to talk to him. <laughs> Is he in his little uh, little cart he drives around with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has trouble getting around with that little cart in the winter, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. You must be under a gazillion, gazillion feet of snow over there at Chautauqua. Yeah, well, I see Mabel got over a foot yesterday. Are you going to have <laughs> sleigh rides tomorrow? Uh, they have sleigh rides today and tomorrow. Oh, today. They, oh. Like, this is the last weekend for it. Oh, it's really? Nice. Maybe yeah. we'll have to come over tomorrow. It's, it's wonderful yeah. fun. Yeah. You know? I would love to do. I've always say I want to do that, and I haven't gotten there to do it yet. So. Oh, it's it's great. It really is, and there's a lot of snow here. So I'll uh, bet. it should be a great ride. Okay. Well, well, I'm glad time? you called, Linda, because I, I have your a note about your program next, but I haven't gotten there. <laughs> okay. Well, we have the Senior Employment Program, uh, which uh, these are subsidized jobs through a grant, and people should call their part-time positions 20 hours a week, transitional positions to get better jobs. We have extra funding for extra slots for seniors. Please call. Also, we have our computer training for seniors in the community. Uh, sites are already set up in Fredonia at the Senior Citizen Center and in Olean at the Cateraugus One Stop. And we're just starting up a new site at the Jamestown Printer Gas Library in Jamestown tomorrow. So, or Yay! not tomorrow, but Monday. <laughs> So this is really great, and uh, there's no specific qualifications just for seniors. It's for seniors entry level to get them started. They go on the computer with a peer coach who's there the whole time with them. It's self-taught, teaching basic things like using the mouse, email, uh, basic word. It's a wonderful program for seniors to get them past any kind of anxiety. Okay, if, 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 they they wanted the, if they wanted your services, uh, what number would they call, Linda? The number at the Office for the Aging for the Senior Employment Program, the computer training and other services is 753-4471. In the Dunkirk, Fredonia area, 363-4471. Have a great weekend. Well, you, you too. You and, too. And get out there and do a little ice fishing <laughs> if you can find the ice. I saw the ice fishermen last week. They were catching a lot of perch. Yep, yeah, they're well, out there this morning, too. Yeah, those hooches are all over the place. Looks like a little village out I there, know, you know, at the know. foot of Mayville Hill. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks a lot. Say hi to that old guy. And uh, wish it, this uh, wonderful gentleman is right here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, Doug. hi to all of you. Doug, I wanted to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. I wish I could come over and play for me, but I'll be out at, at sea. I'll be down in the, in the Bahamas. Oh. <laughs> Lucky you. And they did, didn't serve corned beef the last time I was down there on St. Patty's Day. We always have I read have them it the Riot Act, office. you know. I said, every, everybody in the world on St. Patty's Day has corned beef. Well, we never knew about that. <laughs> 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 okay, back to serious stuff here. Thank you, Linda. That, you're, that is serious. Senior jobs are more and more going to need them because they're going bust with, with no increase in their cost of living and their pensions and in their uh, Social Security. It is. They're going down. It is terrific program and uh, it's a tw it's a part-time job 20 hours a week the wages are actually paid by the Department of Labor and uh, you learn skills uh, we use senior aides in our office or we could put you in a not-for-profit or other government agency throughout Chautauqua County um, they help out in the Meals on Wheels program they help out at uh, the rural ministry, they help out at uh, Joint Neighborhood Project, many, many uh, places. The adult daycare has senior aides, and it's a wonderful, wonderful program. Um, you're expected to be actively looking for a job, though, and a lot of times it allows, uh, usually, sometimes the person who hosts you, uh, the host agency becomes your actual employer over time. If you're lucky, yeah. If you're lucky, yeah. you know we've we've hired in our office senior aides uh, who were originally uh, placed in our office under the senior aid program. So uh, the Department of Labor is realizing that you know seniors need more help, and there are more seniors. So they have uh, allocated extra funds to help seniors get a job. Okay, there we go. And that is a very critical issue at this point. A lot of seniors, especially up here in Chautauqua County, are losing their homes and everything. They haven't got the money anymore because, again, there's a 50%, 60% by now, I'm sure, loss in your uh, dollar, in your ability to purchase because of inflation and the fact that Congress refuses to grant 
a fair cost of living and has stolen $8 trillion out of the trust fund, which was there to help with Social Security. All right, enough said about that. Enough belly aching. Uh, just throw the bums out, I think. I'm going to. I'm going to vote for, against every congressman. I'm going to run, <laughs> run around the country. Well, we've got to get some reform going, that's we gotta for do sure, something. because we can't keep going on the path we're on. Um, yeah. We've been uh, spending more than we have, and so uh, at some point there's going to be a day of reckoning, and I'm hoping they'll get some health care reform on. And it does seem that the push is to keep people in home and in their community, um, which is less expensive for people, and it's where they want to be. And Office for the Aging has a lot of programs, and our mission is to help you stay in your home and in the community. So if you're struggling to do that, call our office. We're happy to tell you about everything that's available to help you stay at home. And we have a new, a new service with the Department of, a new hotline with the Department of Health, Social Services that serves anyone in the community who's disabled or a senior who's looking for a service to help stay in their home. The project is called New York Connects and it's answered by a nurse and she can, can tell you what's available to help you and the number is 753-4582 if you can't remember that you can call our office and we'll transfer you up to the New York Connects helpline but that's for disabled people of any age parents with child with disability an adult that's disabled or a senior who's looking for a service that they can't find so call us we're I Here, used, and we're ready to help you. I could have used somebody to snow shovel for me today. You know, I had to shovel out of my house. It was just mm -hmm. snow everywhere. We're starting to develop a list of people who will do that. The problem is, you know, we don't have the ability to screen people who want to do those kinds of jobs. So if you're private, you know, hiring people, you have to scrutinize, not so much for snow shoveling, because they're going to be outside, yeah, yeah. but um, for other things around the house, yeah. uh, when you private hire ha help, you got to be careful. You do have to be very careful. Westfield, incidentally, does a, does screen a bunch of people, especially teenagers. Well, that's nice. Who will come over, mow your lawn, do the shoveling, whatever we, you need. We do you know? have a private list of people who want to do jobs for seniors, mm -hmm. but we just don't have the capacity to um, screen them. So we make that very clear. If you get our private hire list, that's what it is. You, it's your responsibility okay. to check out their credentials. Dr. Marianne Spanos doing the job for the county. She is the director of the Office for the Aging for Chautauqua County. And I thank you for coming over. I want to give you, Always uh, my pleasure. Give you a few seconds to wrap up, OK? <laughs> Well, just let people know that we are here to help you. Don't forget that our, our Dunkirk Senior Center is without phones and without computers. We have a couple cell phones, so we can talk to them, but it's not enough uh, phones for you to call in there. So if you are having a problem getting hold of somebody in Dunkirk in the next few days, call the main office in, in Mayville, 753-4471, or toll-free, 363-4471. Thanks We're so much. Out. We're out of here. Okay. Whoosh. Okay, thank you, Marianne. I wanted to say goodbye to everybody for three weeks. I will be uh, away, uh, and uh, we're going to have. Uh, uh, well, I'm. Uh, my wife really needs it more than I do. We take a trip every uh, every spring on uh, a cruiser, so we're going to cruise Wonderful. down to the Bahamas. And if anybody's interested in doing it, I can show you how you can do it for peanuts. <laughs> I want to thank the special people who are going to take my show for me, and I will be calling in from the ship. I want to thank Chris Burse in advance, Jim Chris Burt, Jim Subjack, and John Hamels, all of whom will be each one doing one of the shows as the host. I also want to thank Chuck Kelsey. I want to thank uh, Devin Taylor. I want to thank Chris Ramaker, Mort Flexer, Randy Burt, and uh, Roy Harvey, and finally John Zenz, and not least but last, Jeff Zook. Don Jens and Jeff Zook are really doing the job here. Get out there and enjoy life. Keep an eye on the flag, the Irish flag, St. Patty's Day is coming. We always march around with it in my house. We play the music, we dance, we sing, and we eat corned beef. May all that is proud and true and noble abide with you. I'm Reed Powers. <laughs>